Hello, and welcome to A Crafter's Story. It's Celeste here. So a couple of days ago, this is my Crafter's Story this week, or this video. Um, a couple of days ago, a box, not a big box, a little one like this, arrived at our front door. And in the box was a bottle of um, shampoo that we'd ordered, but they'd wrapped it really nicely in this paper. And uh, when we get packaging paper, it's usually not quite as thick. This is quite thick. It's almost the same thickness, I would say, as the inside of a toilet roll tube or a paper towel tube. It's almost that thick. And I just I couldn't throw it away. <laughs> uh, my crafter's brain said, you can do something with this. So I kept it. And um, somewhere along the line, it turned into... A phrase tag. I've decided this is what I'm calling it a phrase tag. Now this is quite a bit it's quite sturdy and so I'm going to make one a, a couple of these with you and just show you um, if you think a little bit further than just what you see this is just packaging material right now but when it's maneuvered and manangled and pasted and whatnot it can be a beautiful tag, and it didn't cost you a dead cent. So let's try and make some of these, well, not try, we're going to make some of these together. Let's set that one aside, and I'll show you how we did it. I did it, I suppose. Now we're going to do it. Let's get this a little bit flattened out as much as I can. Oh, maybe I'll put this little bit, chap, and put, put them aside. So, get it a little bit straightened out. Now, you only need that much. Let's see how many? One, two, one, almost two. All right, so we'll go. We'll get. We have a better chance of getting two this way. So I'm going to fold this over very far because we only need about an inch. I think this is only about about an inch wide. So we don't need much. And I'm gonna really fold it over. Okay, like that. And then again. So now I've got three layers. One two, and three. Okay, and then cut that, cut that loose. So I don't know how many of these I would have gotten all well, eventually, once I'm all done, um, how many I'll get out of this packaging paper. But I think quite a few. Um, let's see, I'll get one, two, at least another two, and I'd say another four-ish at least, so that's Four eight nine for no no money nothing not a well not no money because I have embellishments and stuff that I've purchased over time but as far as the base goes not a cent people's not one penny all right so all I'm going to do now is paste this down get some of my glue down. A handy dandy stick glue and get that pasted down and then paste down the next layer. Oh, oh dear. So the phrases that I'm using today, I went online, I went on Google and I typed in three or four word phrases and I came up with oh, a whole bunch there was tons of them and I just chose the ones that I liked and then went onto my computer I typed them out into little little sort of one uh, you know in a row um, I actually did it on Excel and then I um, Gave it a green background, 
I chose six of them. So we've already made one. And here are the other five. And these were just ones that I thought went, were, I don't know, they just, they spoke to me. <laughs> so I chose these. So, well, I don't know how much time we'll have if we'll be able to make all of them, but I'm definitely going to make these two. And you'll be able to see how easy it is and how fun it is to repurpose, recycle, and not not touch your wallet. Okay, so I want to do, let's see, I think I want to say Earth laughs in flowers. It definitely does. I think when we go out into the spring, into the flowers, and when there's a, a field of flowers, or we just bought a bunch of flowers, it always makes us smile. So that one definitely, I think, is very true. Earth does laugh in flowers. And so I'm just going to put some glue down, paste down my little phrase, and get it nice and down. Um, I don't know why, but I noticed that this glue, if I get it on my fingers, and then I wipe it across where the writing is, it smudges my writing. Now, I don't know if it's a paper, or the ink in my printer, or the glue that's just so I don't know. I don't know why. I ain't got a clue. So I'm just trying to avoid doing that again. It's not a terrible thing. It just kind of makes it, give it the, like a grungy look. But I don't know. I'm just, so I'm trying not to do that. Let's see. I think these kind words cost nothing. And beautiful minds inspire others. I feel like I want to use kind words cost nothing these days. I think sometimes we need to remember kind words these days. So let's do that one. That's a nice one to do. I'm going to put put our little affirmation phrase. I guess not really an affirmation, right? It's more of a phrase down here. And there we go. Ready, set, go. I've got two of them down already. Um, so I'm just going to cut them out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of eyeball the width on this side to the width on that side. And eh, that's pretty, pretty much it. I'll do the same on this side. And eyeball it. Now the even Stevens on each side. <laughs> For a second there I was like, should I throw this piece away? Should I throw it away? It's like, Celeste, can't keep everything. <sighs> I want to keep everything, but I can't keep everything. <laughs> I'm always thinking, what can I do with that? What can I do with this? What if I turn this into something else? It's creative minds never rest. I write um, articles um, for an online blog site called Medium. And they were, I, I wrote an article called Creative Minds Never Rest. And it is so true because I'll be walking down the aisle in a grocery store and I'll see something and my brain will go, ooh. <laughs> do that I can fix this I can you know uh, but it's fun you know keeps life interesting I did that just the other day you get these sort of rubber little mat things that you put on a, a jar so that you can grip it and open it so I thought oh that that's got like a flower design on it perhaps I can use that as a stencil so you know what I did I bought it it's now a stencil in my stencil stash Oh gosh, and it actually works really well, so um, I should have brought it out. I wasn't really thinking of this until I started talking to you guys, but I'll put a link to that article in the description below, and you'll, if you care to read it, um, you'll see what I mean. 
Okay, so they're a little wonky, I suppose, because the it's a well, they're fine, they're fine, they're fine, they're fine. So I have these really beautiful stamps that I I just recently bought on AliExpress, and um, I'm going to use them on the back. So on this one, I used this stamp on the back and it's a very faint print and that's fine with me I just wanted like a shadow ghost print just so it wasn't so empty at the back because I'm not really going to use this tag for anything other than just to slip into a journal um, just have it be a little a little add-on um, embellishment so that's the only purpose I really want for these little guys so I'm going to find I'm going to use red which may sound a little weird but I think um, let's we use the butterfly let's use the butterfly okay and I think that should be nice let's get some of this ink on here I have to get new inks you guys yeah I think that'll work oh, okay Because my, <clears throat> I want the archival inks, the ones that, the last, oh yeah, okay, no, that, nice. Let's see, I'll use this one. I can use a different one. There we go. Is it ink it up, ink, ink. Slap, slap, slap. Yep, that'll do. Get that done. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Ta-da! Great. All right, so I'll put this aside. Now I'm going to use my dauber because I want to distress. Um, oh, aren't these so cute? <laughs> They're so cute. Um, in just the right size for the dauber. See that? Very cute. Okay, I'll get this. I'm going to age it up at the back here just a little bit, but I'm going to go right over the edges and maybe maybe give it a really like I dropped it in dirt. So very make it dirty there we go just to give it a bit of a grungy feel okie dokie oh look at that oh it's okay grungy is the order of the day so there now it really looks nice and grungy and dirty and perfect perfect love it love it love it love it now i decided that instead of aging it like I usually do, if you guys have watched any of my videos, I um I'm a little I age everything. Although I think what I did, if I look at this one, I think I did age it a little bit and I went a little overs good overs. So let's do it anyway, just to give it a little bit of a that sort of uh like it's been lying around somewhere in your house or your attic or your garage and you forgot about it and and now it's all dirty and aged and vintage looking and awesome. Awesome sauce. It just looks awesome sauce. All right. So now we do have a little bit of a dirty age. Look, that's perfect. Yay. I'm going to use my, my as you can see, it's well used, <laughs> my gold pen, my gold paint pen. It's an 18 karat gold um, Krylon pen. And... Let me just make sure that the ink is coming out. Yep, the ink is coming out. And I'm going to just take the end, because it's quite a, a, a thick nib. I'm going to put the halfway, put half the nib there, and then just run it down. So that it leaves a gold edge on here for me. Okay, like that. Oh, a little bit more, a little extra. <clears throat> and down this side. Um, you don't have to be too exact. It's really just to give it a little bit of an edge. I'm going to do it on the back as well. There we go. Gosh, the wind outside is crazy. It's nuts. It was so cold yesterday and our 
front door, for some reason, collects all the leaves from the neighbourhood. It's, it's like they all come and congregate at our front door and then sit there and wait for me to come and uh, sweep it up. And um, there's supposed to be no more leaves left because it's winter. But it's, I don't know where these leaves came from. They're at my front door again. Maybe it's just this wind because... Gosh, this wind is crazy right now. Um, it's almost a little scary because it's, you know, I always worry about my son on the road and these big semis. Um, one just flipped earlier this week and made him three hours late for work. Um, I don't know if it slipped on some ice or if it just you know, break too hard or what it did, but he phoned me at 20 past six in the morning. My heart stopped. I thought, oh no. <laughs> but um, he just to tell me that he was going to be late for work and I shouldn't worry. And the poor kid sat in the traffic <laughs> in the cold and the wind for almost three hours. Well, it was three hours until he could get to work. It was crazy. So this wind is dangerous. Okay, you guys, there you go. So we've given it an aged vintage look with all the the ink. And we've given it a nice gold gilded edge. And it's already uh, taking shape. So I think probably we're only going to be able to do these two today. But it does give you a very good idea of how to make these. So our next step is... To decide which side we want the hole. I like to have it at the beginning of my frames. So I'm going to put a little dot there and a little dot there just as a marker to see where I'm going to put the hole. And there's the first one. And there's the second one. Okay. So now, now we can really play. Because <clears throat> on this guy, I just took a whole bunch of different, um, I guess it's ribbon and string and fluffy stuff. <laughs> <laughs> fluffy stuff. <clears throat> and then, so we're going to do the same here. And I think, let's just use from here. This was given to me, um, and when I first received it, I, I loved it. I really loved it. But I had no clue really what to do with it. Um, it was something new that I hadn't used before. Ooh. And um, this is so pretty. And so I, for the longest time, I just sat in my, my craft um, stash. <clears throat> But then I, I saw, when I was preparing for this video, I saw it and I thought, oh gosh, this would really look nice. So I think, let us, oh, <laughs> now let's see how I get it through the hole. Hmm, overambitious. Am I overambitious? Well, maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Let's see if I, how many of the, oh, 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 I got them all, I got them all, I got them all through the, yay, <laughs> first try. <laughs> oh, happy days, I'm so happy. Oh, that looks so nice. I really like that a lot. Okay, so that's, I'll get, let's cut some of these a little oh, scissors. Little shorter. That looks really, and I was thinking, well, because it says kind words cost nothing, let's put a little heart in because kindness should come from the heart, right? And I think I'm just going to, I don't think I can thread it through the hole because the hole's a bit low down. So I'm going to just thread it through the top of the string. Put my little heart in here. 
on little heart where's where's oh, there it is put the little heart in here um so these charms i picked up out on amazon and they weren't expensive i think it was ten dollars and you got something like a hundred um and then these little gourd clips or light bulb clips i've been i've seen them being called a whole whole stack of different things but these little clips um also i think I've, it was like 250 in the pack for also not not a whole bunch of money um now because i don't ever want this to come loose i'm just going to take a little bit of my turbo tacky glue i'm just going to put a little dollop at the back here um and make sure that this won't ever come loose. I'm just wondering if I shouldn't put a dollop in the front here too. I think I should. And there we go. Just, um, just don't want to ever have it come loose on me, you know. All right, so we've got one done. There you go. They look so beautiful. Really love this, you guys. It really came out so nicely. Okay, one more. What should we do with this one? What do we have? So I've got a little bit of gold. Because gold on gold. That should look nice. Um, okay. Got gold. Um, this is funky. Um, I don't know if I'll get that through the hole though. That might be a bit much. Let's use... I don't know if I'll get that through the hole either. Okay, well, that'll have to go. Let's try. We'll try some of this. Where did that piece of gold go? Oh, here it is. <laughs> it tried to escape, but I found it. So come back here. You can't go. No, no, no. All right, and then I think maybe I can just, um, I don't want to, repeat anything here's a little bit here's a little bit of purple with that green yeah let's do that okay okay oh where are you going go back everything's sticking to each other <laughs> all right okay let's me stop just for a second because everything is just sticking and not behaving and I think it's because I'm not being organized here. Let's get it all together. There you go. That's better. Much better. And then maybe try some of this orange. This one's going to be very festive looking. There you go. That works. All right. So let's see how much. <laughs> let's see if we can get it through the hole. Okay. <laughs> I think so. I think so. I hope so. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, I love it so much when stuff works, especially when it works the first time. <laughs> okay. There you go. And. Okay. So now. Cut that loose. This one looks really pretty. They all look so different. See how that is more sort of earthy, yellow, sunrisey. This one looks, almost has a slight gothic feel because of the black. And this one just looks like carnival. <laughs> all right. And because earth laughs in flowers, I decided to use this pretty little rose charm. We're going to go in here. Okay, and I've gone a little bit deeper in. There we go. In there, we'll get a little rose. Well, it's actually quite a big rose, but it's nice. It's a statement piece. There we go. And I, I do think that I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I did it on that one as well. Put a little bit of glue. Um, just to make sure that none of this comes loose down the line. Because I didn't knot it. I just... Uh, did like a little fold in type, f you know, where I put the ribbon through the, like a loophole. And um, so there, okay. 
All right, so those are going to dry now. <clears throat> but I think they turned out so nicely. And it's easy. It's inexpensive. I've used up some of the ribbon that I honestly have had lying around forever in a day. Um, and so as today goes along, I'll come in and I'll probably um, do these guys. Beautiful Minds Inspire Others. Well, I hope I inspired you guys today. Wisdom begins in wonder. My wonder sometimes is down a grocery aisle when I see <laughs> lid openers. <laughs> you can, wherever your inspiration lies, you guys, it's always, if you keep an open mind, um, creativity will find you and be fearlessly authentic. So these three are definitely going to eventually become like the other three. And I'm going to find a spot in one of my journals to put them because I think they just so... It's not much, but it's impactful because I think the message is so impactful. Thank you so much for visiting with me. And I always appreciate your time. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.